So today we're going to be looking at the only 4K triple display DisplayPort KVM switch that can display 4K cinema footage at 60 frames per second. And a special thank you to all my patrons, including my news patron, Willie Woolridge. And if you haven't already, please think about becoming a patron and supporting the channel you love. Thank you. So welcome to Technodad Life, and I'm Jeff. And so what we're going to be doing today is looking at the IO Gear 4 port, 4K triple display port KVM switch that has USB 3 and 2.1 surround sound. That's a mouthful for a name. This is the only switch that I know that can display 4K ultra high definition at 60 hertz and cinema 4K, which is 4096 by 2160 at 60 megahertz. So basically what we have here is a KVM switch that can control four computers and their peripherals. So what you're going to be needing is to get this to run is four computers, if you're going to be using that many, with graphics cards. And so you need graphics cards that have three display ports on them. So like, for example, I have a 1080 TV, Ti, and that has three display ports and one HDMI port. So you're going to need something like that or the equivalent. So computer selection is by the front panel here. You can also use hotkeys and mouse or RS-232 commands if you have it network attached. There is independent switching of the audio, KVM, and USB through this middle switch. And I'll go over that in a second. It has two USB ports. Uh, these are USB 3s, one at the front, one at the back. And you can plug in drives and other peripherals that way. It's the place DisplayPort 1.2 compliant and HDCP compliant. It also supports 7.1 uh, high definition audio through the display ports. If you're an audiophile, you can get 2.1 channel surround sound with bass. And another nice thing about it is it's firmware upgradable. So let's take a look what's in the package. So what you'll get is six display port cables. Uh, if you go with four computers, you're going to need three or you're going to need three more display port cables per computer, so you'll need six more. If you don't know what a display port cable is, it's the adapter with that's rectangular and then it has an angle on one corner. It also comes with two USB 3 cables and two audio cables, so you'll need two more cables of each if you set up uh, for four monitors. A power adapter and a quick setup guide are also in the package. I recommend that you download the full manual from the IO Gear website to get the full benefit of this switch because there's lots of little uh, parts to it. So if we go back to the front of the switch, we have our four computers. So one, two, three, four. And so this middle one switches between the different modes. So basically, if three, all three lights are lit, then it will switch. Then it will switch the KVM, the audio, and the USB. Now you have your choice when switching to do all three: just the KVM, just the audio, and just the USB. So let's take a look at how that works. I have a computer set up on one and one set up on two. We press two. And there it switched between all three of those. We go back to one. Now if we just switch audio, when I press this button, then it should just switch the middle one. And there it switched that. This might be useful if you're listening to some music on a different computer where, while editing on one computer or, or vice versa. If we press three times, it should just switch over the USB link. And there it's done that. And now if we switch to our desktop here, you can see we have our D drive. This is the portable drive that I hooked up into the front. Let's switch over to the other computer. I'll show you that on this monitor to show you that we can access the portable drive on all the computers. 
so now if we press the switch, it just takes a second and then our USB drive shows up. So basically I put it over on this screen because I can't show all the monitors at one time because these are each 32 inch monitors. So that's like 96 inches long. So, well, actually not 96 inches, but because they measure them this way rather than this way. So I don't know if you know how many inches that is, put it down below. So also you can actually have up to six displays per computer. You just need two of the GSCS 1964s. You connect them with a RJ45 cable and then there is a switch on the back down below all these cables where you switch one to primary, it says P, the secondary one to S. You'll need, you'll need a lot of extra display cables for this because you'll need six cables per computer. So you'll need 24 cables in total. So one other mode you can use to switch between monitors or between computers is using the scroll lock key on your keyboard. So you'll have to find a keyboard with a scroll lock key. And so basically every time you press the scroll lock key it will beep. You have to get it to beep twice and then hit enter to switch. I'll show you that. And then if you want to go to a particular computer, all you do is scroll lock, scroll lock, and then the number, and then enter. And then that brings you back to your original monitor or whichever monitor you want to be on. So to get triple monitors in 4K, you're gonna, it's going to run about $814. If you want just two displays but still want the cinema 4K in 60 frames per second, then they also have a much cheaper switch at $415. So the IO Gear CGS 1964 is quite the KVM switch is not for everyone, but for those people who need a lot of monitors, uh, this is probably the best that they can get. And so probably people like video, audio, or even like stockbrokers who need to see lots of information at one time, We'll just love this switch. And so that's it for today. Hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.